Good morning, it is Monday, April 1st. We're on to week five of this Ironman training vlog. Uh, we got through a whole month. Um, yeah, stayed consistent with that, so I think we can keep this rolling. I'm having some fun with it. But uh, right now, we are exactly two weeks out from running the Boston Marathon. Uh, we're nine weeks out from Eagle Man 70.3 and 25 weeks out from Ironman Chattanooga. So yeah, we're, we're rolling this through all those and we're gonna have some fun with it. Right now at 6.45 a.m., I'm gonna go to the pool and do a little recovery swim before I head off to work. Um, then at work, I'm gonna do a little bit of strength training in the gym there on my lunch break. And that's gonna be it for my Monday. So just a recovery day, uh, not filming the pool stuff, just gonna float around, do some laps, and just try to feel good and loosen up the body a bit. Get it primed and ready for this week's uh, training. So yeah, I'll probably tune back in later today, but that's gonna be it for my Monday. All right, uh, Monday swim complete. Uh, just a steady thousand yards, no sets or anything. Just wanted to feel out the water and yeah, just keep it smooth today. So hopped in the hot tub after that and now I'm enjoying my coffee and heading off to work. All right, it is 6 p.m. I just got home from work. Uh, I did some like lower leg uh, training in the gym today on my lunch break. Um, all that went good. Um, and then I did get these in today. Very nice, just new, uh, new cycling shoes. Um, I actually bought these in like a metallic silver, tried them on, they felt awesome, but they looked like disco shoes, so I sold them, and then I uh, found these on sale, so I picked these up, and I'm really excited for them, so I can stop wearing my tri shoes on the road bike. Not that it matters, but just kind of save them for race day. But yeah, happy with that, and I got some uh, merino wool socks too for the bike. So, pretty good day there. So I'll go uh, throw the cleats on there, get them all set up, and that's gonna be it for my Monday. And I think I successfully had a recovery day, so pretty good, I'm learning. All right, good morning, it is Tuesday. Uh, we got a hard effort bike workout today. It's about an hour long, and then there's four 10 minute uh, threshold intervals within it. So I just did a 10 minute warm up. We got about 30 seconds before we start the first 10 minute threshold here. Um, my legs feel really tired today. So we're gonna see how we do this first one. And then uh, I might do each of these 10 minutes kind of like progressive power as I, get my legs going this morning. So we'll see how we do. Trying out the new shoes today. Had to make a couple little cleat adjustments, but here we go. See how we do. All right, we're on the last 30 seconds of this first 10 minutes set. My legs are kind of coming around, but this is very difficult for me right now. It's hard for me to hit these workouts without eating breakfast or anything. I don't know how some of you people do it, but damn, <laughs> this is tough. There's two minute uh, easier pedaling breaks in between each of these 10 minute sets, and they're well welcome. All right, we're in the last 30 seconds of the second 10 minute threshold here doing the math, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have enough time to finish this whole workout. Cause I gotta stop and adjust my cleats on my shoes. And I gotta get to work. So I might do the last 10 minute threshold. I might cut that to five minutes. I mean, hey, stuff happens. You know, I wanna say I'm getting stronger on the bike. I feel stronger and all that, but these always are so difficult for me. And my heart rate, it's, it's at 140 beats. So it's not even in the threshold heart rate zone. It's just the power. This is tough. These workouts right here are why I don't ever try to manipulate my FTP. Why I do my FTP in narrow position. All that because I know how freaking difficult these are for me. So why would I want to skew that number to make this unobtainable? And that's the point. At least that's how I do it. I get I'm giving up some power, being an arrow, but I just, I like doing the workouts that way. And maybe I'm a little bit wrong there because like I say, my heart rate's not in the proper zone, but to me, my legs are weaker than my cardio is. So I like trying to, I don't know, kind of build that more. I'm just suffering. All right, last uh, 20 seconds of this third 10 minute threshold. Feel a lot better on this one than I did the first two. 
finish this one pretty strong here. And like I say, I'm gonna have to speed this last one up a bit and uh, get myself to work here soon. It's 6.22 a.m. I have to leave the house at like 6.34. I got it timed down to the minute. We'll hit this last one uh, for a few minutes at least. I won't get my gold star on the workout, but that's okay. I got a gold star in here. There's my heart rate. I'm in the 150s now. Doing something. We're coming alive this morning. We'll give this one more minute here. Then a quick little spin down. Rush upstairs. Get my coffee. Oh, we got to get to 20 miles. All right, we're, we'll get there. Five on that. There's our 20 miles. For an hour workout, you always have to hit 20 miles, no matter what. We'll finish at like 53 minutes, so that's pretty good. All right, we're gonna end that one there. 234 watts average, 52, almost 53 minutes. Actually, probably 53 because I'm still pedaling. But yeah, we gotta end it there. Rush upstairs, go make the coffee, and uh, get off to work. So. This was a good workout today. I'm happy uh, I kind of persevered and got it done. All right, out here on my lunch break, a nice uh, 30 minute easy run here. No hat today, but the run kit, pretty dialed. I think this is the tank I'm gonna wear for Boston. So just making sure it feels good. I ordered some Nike trail shorts. Like got some half tights or whatever. So I know, it's, I know it looks like I'm setting myself up for trail runner Johnny, but I think those might be really nice for the marathon. I wish I had a little more time on this break to go take a swim in there, get myself ready for Chattanooga, but we'll get a river swim in here eventually. I did start editing uh, some of the bike workout footage from this morning and I talked too much. I got like six minutes worth of footage I need to chop down. I don't know, we'll see how long this week's uh, footage is and maybe I'll keep some of that in there. I like just talking about some stuff every now and then. It's all kind of the content I want to put in uh, the video, so kind of how I do it and if other people like it cool let me know if not get out of here <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna film my race during Boston this year so I'm trying to figure out uh since I'm gonna have the phone on me anyways if I should just film with that um, or if I should bring the GoPro too kind of a reason why I bought those uh, Nike trail shorts they got all these extra pockets so we'll see I don't want to overload myself but the goal this year is to have fun and I think filming that, doing some mile check-ins and whatnot, uh, we'll kind of capture all that. Looking forward to it either way. Good morning, it is 5.45 a.m. Uh, I'm doing a group ride right now, going to the Zwift Aquarium. Um, this is an easy ride today, but I hopped in with a little bit faster group this morning, and we're pushing the pace. So, feels good, um, sweating a lot, I'm not using the fan today. So that was the goal. And yeah, not gonna film much of this one. Um, but it looks like I'll be able to get the full hour in and take a shower before work. So this could work out well today. All right, finishing this one up at an hour. 200 watt average, 23 and a half miles. So yeah, pretty good ride. Um, yeah, they pushed me this morning, but we did a couple little sprint efforts too. But yeah, time to go shower and head off to work. So. Uh, swim later. All right, it is 4 p.m. Uh, after work, it's swim time. So I'm doing this workout. Um, I don't know how to explain swim sets, but it's broken 150s and it looks like a bunch of speedy intervals. So I'm gonna give it my best go. And yeah, that's it. Um, I'm not gonna film in there today. We'll do our film in uh, Friday when I go to CSU because CSU has the pool set up uh, for long course, so 50 meter length. So that should be pretty fun. Try to make my way out there. And yeah, we'll get our, our pool clips then. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go in there, get this done, and check back in when I'm finished. Also gotta mention this, last week somebody finally commented on the Ironman backpack. Said it's the best backpack they've ever seen. So, it was a fellow triathlete, but that kinda counts. So it's not a myth. Uh, if you do wear the Ironman gear, people do take notice. So, just throwing that out there. Alright, swim complete. Uh, went really good for me today. I think I always say that. Swim went good for me. Oh, swim was nice this morning. Had a great swim. 
Anyways, but it was actually pretty good today. I did 2,100 yards. My average pace was 138, which is really good for me. Um, but they had me cheat because they had me do 250 yard sets with fins, like all out effort. I didn't go all out because I'm actually pretty dang fast with fins. So I was like creating a wake in the pool. So I backed her down. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna work on growing a set of fins because that might make me pretty competitive in the swim this year. So watch out, that's all I'm saying. Um, but anyways, yeah, I worked on a few things, got my lats like going, I'm trying to work on those. So I'm not just smoking out my shoulders and yeah, I think my pool swim is coming along a lot compared to last year. So I'm really looking forward to taking that all to open water and cause I'm actually probably a better open water swimmer than pool swimmer, but we'll see how this pays off this season. But yeah, really looking forward to seeing how it all unfolds on race day. And with that, that is going to be it for today. And I'm going to go make dinner and go to sleep. And then tomorrow we got a run workout. Not sure what it's gonna be. I might just do my own like taper workout because I'm in Boston taper right now. So we'll see, I might wake up early and do it or I might do it after work. We'll just have to find out when we find out. All right, it is 5.30 p.m. Uh, Thursday after work and we're gonna do a running workout. So I came to the track for this one. I'm gonna do six by 800s or six by half mile pretty much with a two mile warm up and a two mile cool down and I think like a 90 second jog in, be in between those 800 intervals. Yeah, there's like a lacrosse team playing right now. So I'm gonna tread lightly with the filming, but still see what we can come up with. All right, two mile warm up complete. Uh, I just did my first uh, 800 interval. I'm targeting like 620 pace for these. So I came around that one like three minutes, five seconds or so. All right, interval two complete. Uh, I did that one in 305. That means my dumbass is doing these at uh, six minutes, 10 second miles. Whatever, feel good. If you feel good, why stop? All right, interval three was 3.11. Um, I actually think these intervals are a little bit longer than a half mile, so still might be going too quick, but I did try to back it down a little bit. I'm doing like a one lap cool down. We got superstar Neil Rubelli. Training for his first Ironman. Big deal. How many weeks? Three? Three weeks to go. Where are you doing it? Texas. Nice. How you go? How's training going? Steady, healthy, and uh, fun. Hell yeah. Most important part. Nice. Interval four complete. Hit that at uh, 310. So just maintaining this pace. All right, fifth interval complete. Uh, another 310 there. Um, yeah, not much to say about these. I thought I was gonna get all this really cool track footage, but I didn't really set the camera up, so this is what you get. All right, sixth and final interval was like a 302. I ran it a little bit quicker, um, just to finish strong. Felt good for this workout so far. I'm on my cool down. I'm probably off with all those split times, so I actually dig up the uh, Garmin data and post them in here just to be a little bit more accurate. Not that it matters, but sometimes it's cool seeing that stuff. We got two mile cool down here and finish off this, this run. Pretty happy today. All right, workout complete. Pretty psyched on that one. Um, everything went well. Not like seeing that until I'm actually finished with the workout. But yeah, pretty happy with that. Haven't done a track workout all year, so it was nice to get that one in there. And this will probably be my last effort workout until Boston because we are officially in taper mode. So today's workout, we did 8.8 .8 miles, 7.18 pace. We got average heart rate 139. Look at that nice little graph. Looking good. But yeah, so that'll be it for today. Um, really psyched on that one. I don't know if I said that yet, but yeah, happy with that. Uh, happy I got to run with my buddy Neil. He is doing his first Ironman in three weeks uh, in Texas. So we will be watching him. And uh, yeah, you can follow him and track him or whatever. I could put his little name in here or whatever. But yeah, so that'll be cool. He's done a half Ironman and all that. But yeah, he's been training all year. I've been keeping tabs on him, watching the Strava. I'm a Scrooge with the kudos, but I've been giving him a few here and there. So whenever I see a good workout... I'll toss some kudos down. So I'm just kidding, but not really. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's gonna be it for today. I'm uh, definitely not gonna go home and eat greasy pizza because I don't do that because I'm a triathlete. Um, but yeah, then we got a Friday morning swim at CSU and uh, we're uh, swimming long course. So looking forward to that.
All right, it is Friday morning, uh, 7 a.m. right now, down here at CSU, uh, downtown Cleveland. Gonna get in a nice, uh, long course swim today. Not sure what my uh, scheduled swim was, but I think I'm just gonna do some longer sets and yeah, just kind of get acclimated to the uh, longer pool. Um, I know I'm, my watch is on meters, but I feel really slow. So this is like a, a mental, uh, mental struggle for me today, but it's still fun. Paces, and I'm too dumb to use the pace clock. I just did 500 meters, like 10:30 or something. So still slow, but I'm not really trying to go super fast. Just trying to feel good, and I'm getting there. But it's different. It's like a it's a mind game. going on a top secret mission right now. I just got some intel that uh, this place has the goods that we're looking for. So let's go check it out. Now we're talking. All right, no, I didn't come all the way to Walgreens just for five bags of peanut butter cups. I actually got seven. And I also got a couple of these things, and three bags of Dunkin' Donuts jelly beans, and three things of detergent. So you're losing money if you're not getting 75% off. So simple economics. Um, yeah, good day. Bag secured. Good morning. It is Saturday. It's uh, 6.25 right now. That clock's a little bit fast, but I just made some oatmeal because um, I'm going to do a longer run today. I try to get about 10 miles in or so. I'm going to meet up with the Northeast Running Club again. Um, I'm going to try to film a little bit this time too. And uh, yeah, just have some fun. I have, I have fun running with that group. So just wanted to get some food in me this time and see if how that helps my run. Um, and then I'm probably going to take a little nap after I'm, I'm done eating this because I'm still tired. And yeah, we're going to, this is why I always wear a hat. We're going to cut this mop next week too. So but yeah, planning to have a good run today. All right, I'm late. Um, I already see them running up the road, so I gotta hurry up and play catch up today. Can't skip a proper warm up though. I'm just here to show off the kit right now. My goal today is just like 10 steady miles. Um, get through it feeling good, no pains. Yeah, just enjoy the run today. Nothing too speedy, but if we can get into like a nice cruisy pace, that'll be cool. Close to marathon pace maybe, we'll see. So the good thing about this group is everybody's kind of running different paces and whatnot. We're running on like a down and back trail, so people turn around at different points. So no matter what, we'll see some of the group on this run. Plus two on my Garmin performance condition. They're detecting an increase in my fitness. So I want to blame this red light for making me late, but it may have been that nap I took after I ate my oatmeal. That might have had something to do with it. First mile was a 7.45, so we're gonna pick it up a little bit. We just got on the trail. No sign of the group yet. How we got a 7.16 for mile two. Um, one thing I will say, the first half of this run is all at like an incline, so the first four or five miles. So I should probably watch that pace a little bit. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> all right, third mile was a 6.58. Um, this morning is a really good time to test out my fueling strategy for Boston. So I did the breakfast like I would on race day, I took a gel. We're kind of hitting those race efforts too. So just feeling how the body responds. All right, we're going up a pretty good incline right now. So I'm gonna back the pace because I see the heart rate spiking, but I see the neon gang. All right, fourth mile with seven flat. One of the hardest things to do is to back down your effort on hill climbs. I tried to shoot for like 150 heart rate there. I was at about 155, which is probably respectable for the nature of this hill. It ain't extreme, but it's just long. 
All right, I'm spotting the leaders of the pack. They made their turnaround and they're flying at me. Too fast for me. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. The rest of the group just hit their turnaround point. So I'm almost there. There it is, that's where we turn around. Just lost some more caffeinated gel. That's like leaving five bucks on the trail. So I really don't need this fuel right now. But if I were doing the marathon, I'd be taking another gel at this time. So, just seeing how the body reacts. Extra performance. So that gel was at mile six, and we did a 6.53 for that one. We're going downhill now too. All right, finishing up with 10 miles there. Average 7.14 pace. Um, yeah, I did a one mile warm up and then six miles at marathon tempo and then ran in the last three with a nice group there. And uh, yeah, had a little cool down mile. Um, knee felt good today. Uh, probably the last half mile, I just start to start to feel it get a little loose. I just really backed it down and yeah, just being conservative with it. Got my concrete shoes on, um, but no, everything's all good. And I'm gonna go get me a coffee at Starbucks. So, and hang out with the gang. Good vibes today. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna run tomorrow again or do a hard bike workout, but kinda wanna run a little bit more. But we'll see, I'm at 30 miles for the week now or the past seven days or whatever. So yeah, feeling good, feeling good about that. So when I do the morning workouts, I kinda get stuck not knowing what to do with the rest of my day. So I finally fixed our ice machine. It's been broke forever. My wife's gonna be really happy to see that. All right, it's Sunday morning, 10.30 uh, a.m. right now. Finished up breakfast like an hour ago. We went out to our favorite local spot. Um, we have a bike ride to do today, a uh, more aggressive uh, TT effort. We're gonna go outside with this one. Um, it's gonna be two 18 minute blocks of threshold and then two 10 minute blocks of Z3. Pretty common workout I always do. And then um, it's actually, I think the ride's like an hour and 45 minutes or so. So Z2 work in between all that, um, but we're going to do our best to hit those numbers, but I, I did find like a cool looking TT segment to do on Strava. Um, so we'll go hit that one and, and uh, just try to do the thresholds, you know, around there. It's like a 20 mile segment. So pretty good distance to try to get this one done. And uh, yeah, I think there's a brick run off of that. So 20 or 30 minutes or so, or whatever the body feels, right? So a couple weeks ago, I put this power crank on and I mentioned how I wanted to swap out the chain ring because that's a 50 tooth chain ring and I wanted to put a 52. So I do have that. I'm going to throw that on today. I do have a new chain um, for the bike, but I'm going to save this closer to race day because this is like a special uh, freshly waxed chain. So we'll save that one. And I was almost going to try out the new zip disc uh, race wheel set um, but i don't have the uh, rotor lock ring for that and it takes a different uh, lock ring than the standard ones that i have because their hub cone spacers are a different diameter and the tool doesn't fit and yada 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 i had to order some parts last night so we're not gonna be able to try that one out today but it's a good thing that i was gonna test and tune with it today because i found out hey i need something and i could have been in a bind if i waited till race day to do that so really looking forward to trying those out um, i love running the disc they're fun uh, but yeah we're gonna have some fun i'm gonna swap this out and uh, get outside and yeah go hit this one I was getting a little bit of disc brake rub, so I'm gonna reset this caliper. To do that, you just loosen these. Four millimeter bolts under there. Then that should loosen that thing up. Then I'm gonna grab the brake lever and kind of center it while I snug it back down, and that should solve the issue. Not that I'm planning on using the brakes today anyways, but it's nice to have them, right? All right, we are ready to go. I get to test out the new helmet. Um, yeah, we're looking good. I hope I'm overdressing. It always turns out that I'm actually a lot colder than I think. So, but hopefully I could pack away some of this stuff as we get warmed up and yeah, test out some stuff today. I got a 
nice little eight mile warm up. I made it to the segment start here. Um, a lot of stoplights and whatnot. Um, a lot of traffic out right now, but just gonna keep it safe and yeah, see what we can do on this one. Bike feels really good. Uh, everything feels really smooth. Helmet feels sweet. I know I look awesome, so that's, that's what we're going for, as long as we look good. All right, we are back. Just completed the loop. Uh, I forget, I think it was 19 something miles or whatever. Not exactly sure uh, how I did on that one. There was a lot more stop and go and than I thought there would be. Um, one of the red lights was like three minutes. But it looks like I did that in like 49-ish minutes. I, I kind of didn't pay attention when I took off because I didn't laugh or anything, just using the computer. We'll see what we did. I got like an eight mile ride back and then I'm gonna probably do a run off the bike and then we'll upload this thing and see if we stole any KOMs today because <laughs> that's the goal. All right, ride complete it's time to run. All right, now we're running. Um, really happy with that ride. My bike feels really good. Um, I just bought that bike for this season. And I had to do quite a bit to get that thing to run right for me. Um, but it feels super smooth. All the shifting feels good. I got used to the synchro shift. Power crank's working now. Um, yeah, I really like that thing. It's really comfortable. But yeah, for this run, just a 20 minute. Um, I'm gonna do 10 at like a zone three pace and then do the last 10 just nice and easy. Give me a nice little recovery. Big old bug eye glasses for this one. Plus four on the uh, Garmin performance condition. We're getting somewhere, I guess. I'd feel good. All right, that's workout complete. Uh, today was a good one. Yeah, I'll uh, upload my bike ride and see if we did anything with that Strava segment. We're gonna dive into the Strava stats from that ride here. Um, so almost 36 miles, an hour 40. I got a KOM on uh, the real Shaker TT, it says. I um, wonder which one, okay, so that's a 13 mile. And what did I get it by? That's close, 22 seconds. So he's not gonna be happy with that email. But that means I didn't get the longer one, the whole route, that 19 mile one. And I will, it's all the stoplights. I, I got like six minutes worth of stoplights and whatnot. We all, you know, we all gotta deal with that, but I could definitely hit this earlier and uh, sh there's a lot of time to shave off this. I, I could tell that. So yeah, I got second on the whole route and I'm willing to bet you it's that dude that um, I just took the crown from. Yeah, so by 19 seconds, I think. Yeah, 19 seconds. So that's that's really close. But whatever, he'll be happy he got the long one. Yeah, actually, he probably doesn't even give a shit. But no, this was a good ride. I wanted a good hard effort today on the bike. Um, I'm in taper, I keep saying that, but this was a pretty aggressive workout with the runoff and whatnot. But uh, I'm happy with that. Happy end in week five with a solid workout. Bike feels great. I feel great. And then uh, starting up week six tomorrow, we got the Eclipse. So we're going to do like a cool ride or run or maybe I'll do all three sports or whatever. Try to do something during the Eclipse. I think I'm going to take a half day off work. And uh, next week's uh, kind of Boston prep. And then I'm going to travel out to Boston. I'm flying out Saturday and then check in for Boston Sunday and all that. So that's all going to be in the next week. So it should be a pretty... It, easy easy workout week but a lot of different action and whatnot so it might have some cool content in it so um but yeah uh, thanks for tuning in this week thanks for following along um i see a couple people are starting to follow week by week or whatever so that's cool i like i like hearing that i like seeing that and uh yeah, i'm just enjoying the ride right now so yeah week six tomorrow we'll uh, get it in there so stay tuned for more thanks